It's a flyweight break, title fight break, in Brazil. Break, break, Dan Tom here break, with MMA break, Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC 301 between Alessandre Pantoja and Steve Ursay. Ursay, of course, is the newcomer on the scene, going 3-0 inside the octagon, 12-1 overall, appeared to be the real deal coming in, and has shown his well-rounded skills since. However, is this a Kyoji Horiguchi versus Demetrius Johnson situation where he's kind of getting rushed to the dance despite being a solid product, or is the stage set for a TJ Dillashaw Hen and Burrell like upset? As the great Brazilian standing on the other side of Urseg will be Pantoja, who's been criminally underrated and disrespected in the past, but has proven his mettle by taking the long road to the title and well. He's an insanely talented champion that doesn't look to be wanting to give up that belt anytime soon. At the time of this video, the odds makers in public are siding with the sitting champ in the neighborhood of minus 210 for Pantoja with the comeback on your challenger, the underdog Ursig in the neighborhood of plus 162. Now those odds are a bit surprising when you consider Ursig's kind of commanding the same respect as one Brandon Royville, uh, another proven or, or more proven commodity, arguably. That being said, the ceiling does seem pretty decent for Ursig. I know I like what I see. He's very well rounded on the feet. He does show some leg kick availabilities that could be here, here. However, could it be like a Max Holloway situation where he seems to take them well and it's not as big of a deal because he tends to build off it? In fact, Ursig gets better as the fight goes on to where even though Pantoja has proven both his doubters and his supporters alike as far as being able to go the five rounds, I actually kind of start to worry if this gets in a round three, four, and five as far as the Pantoja side goes. That being said, Ursig's counter availabilities in the pocket, he jokes about it himself, that kind of head movement or lack thereof. He will be there for the counters, not just leg kicks, but those right hands and even the left hooks, uh, which he also has a really good left hook. But I like Pantoja here and his durability. And Ursig's got really good guillotines. He's got some decent wrestling, national champion in his country of Australia, I believe, and a jiu jitsu black belt to his credit. But, you know, Pantoja is, is a proven level, not saying that. Ursig is not at that level or can't be, but Pantoja is at a proven level to where we've seen his body lock takedowns and shuck buys, which are great counters uh, against guillotine threat fighters. So I just think Pantoja is going to basically have a lot of options here. That being said, I really like Ursig's well rounded game. He will have options too that I lay out in my in depth breakdown where you can go check out that as well as results this weekend. But give me Pantoja.